Hi, welcome to the Balearic Jax show. Uh, I'm Marcial Baradet. I work for the Institute uh, Ibanat, which is the Balearic Institute of the Nature, related to the Ministry of Environment here in the, in the Balearic government. I'm going to talk about Posidonia. Um, I, you know, I don't know if you know about, but uh, I would like to, to, um, to, t to talk about what is Posidonia, the seagrass, and what uh, legislation are we using in, in, in the Balearic Island. Also be more of the Balearic surveillance and some other things that, that maybe could help to the, to the captains and, and uh, to the rest of the, um, of the community. So Posidonia is a plant. It's, on, it's, it's, it's called Posidonia oceanica. Lives in the Mediter Mediterranean. We have all the seagrasses similar in other areas, but Posidonia oceanica is only in the Mediterranean. It's uh, around, um, it lives around from zero to 30 um, meters de depth. And um, it's, a, um, uh, it's a very interesting plant because it's one of the um, long living uh, plants in the world. I mean, it's, uh, they, they try to get the genetic data of, of, the, of the age. It was on about 100,000 years old. I mean, the same plant because it's, it works like a clone. Uh, and and it, it's, it's also one of the largest plant in the world. You can have a plant in like in Formentera from 10, 10 kilometers, the same plant from one part to the other. So it's a huge plant, and we have a lot of Posidon in the, in, in the Belarek Island. It's around 650 kilometers square. So we have a lot of uh, Posidonia seagrass. And uh, other interesting things about the Posidonia, it's just a plant. It has flowers, it has um, the seeds, it has um, roots, no? it has different uh, kind of, um, of structures that is very similar to other flowers or plants in, 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 in the terrestrial um, habitat. So uh, in the past, for sure, it had, has been like a terrestrial plant, and it then has come down to the, to the, um, to the marine um, meadows. No? So it's also one of the biggest um, CO2 um, absor 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 absorption. No? It's, it's even more than, than tropical forest and rainforest. Uh, maybe some people say that 50 more times. I don't know how much, but it's, it's a, a big thing for, for, the, for the climate change. And we have to preserve because of uh, now we have some, um, we will have some an anomalies of temperatures, and the Posidonia will have stress in, in that way. So um, Posidonia and CO2 is a big challenge, and we have to keep that, and we will try to 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 learn more about how it works. It's also very interesting that the um, the plants. Um, when it, the dead leaves, they arrive to the, to, to the beach and they protect the beach, the dunar system. So the thing is that uh, when the storms come and the storms come in, in autumn, something like that, if the, we have this, the natural beaches with Posidonia covered, uh, we can prevent the erosion of, uh, of sand. So it's a, like natural protection of the sand and also give organic, um, organic uh, f mm, pieces for the plants which is on the, sea, on the lunar systems. So we have, uh, it keeps carbon, it's a plant. We also have the, the transparent of the, the transparent uh, clean and clean uh, waters. What it's what makes the difference, no? Because you now clean the water, uh, creates uh, oxygen, and also creates the, um, one of the uh, interesting thing is that creates uh, small uh, shells, no? It's called, of, I don't know the name in English, and forget, for, forgive my English because I'm not, um, I have, my English is not top. So uh, it, it makes like the small shells that arrive to the, um, to the sand, to the beach. So the beach, as you see, has like maybe 10, 70% uh, of, 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 of the beach is organic. And it comes from small shells that, that grow in the, in the Posidonia, it's called, I think it's called foraminifers, and maybe in English, I, I don't know exactly the, the name, but it's, it's like um, thousands of different kind of, uh, of shells, and it's, it's so interesting. Also, it's one of the biggest uh, place, it's like a forest of, of uh, species, no? different fishes, different st uh, 
uh, horse, I don't know how you say, uh, small horses, the, the, the marine horses. And also like the, the, they create like the, this biomass of, of fauna and, 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 and flora and it helps to have a clean and, and healthy biodiversity in, in, the, in the sea. And what's the, the, the possible damage or which are, which are the threats or, or the, um, the, 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 what's going on with the Poseidon? No? One of the first thing I think we have to be clear is climate change. In the next five, 50 years or I don't know, uh, the temperature is going up and it really stressed the position now when it's come more than 28, which we can have 30 degrees. And it will, it will make a, a big thing to the, to the seeds and, and to develop this, this, this healthy seagrass as we have now. All the things are, are the pipeline or the, the bad waters that we have in the cities and et cetera that arrive to the sea. We have to, uh, to get more cleaner water arriving to the sea. We don't, we, we don't, uh, we don't have to throw uh, contaminated water to the sea because it, it helps uh, to destroy the Posidonia. That's not what we want. Also the anchors, yes. We have big anchors and we have uh, like many, many years of anchoring in, in different places like Formentera, Yetas, and we know that it's, um, uh, it's damaging the Posidonia. Uh, now it's a bit more, more control. I will tell you why later. But it's not only the thing, a thing that we see in the Balearic Island. We, we, um, there's uh, some French uh, institutes on, on departments that are also having this kind of issue and in studies. There's um, an uh, institute called Andromeda, or, or, or they have these videos of the Posiona, which I don't want to show you because it's very sad. But uh, Fre French government are also having this uh, new legislation. I will explain a bit more later. Yes, because legislation is a part. We have Posidonia, which is very nice, um, planned, and it helps to the Mediterranean sea water. We have the, the, the threats, and we have a le legislation. That legislation comes from the UNESCO uh, in 99, which um, get the pr pr protection to the Formenteras and Ibiza seagrass, Posidonia seagrass, which is a, a, a huge and old um, protection. No? Other, ha other things that we have, we have the habitat directive, which is uh, uh, like one of the most important, you know, this uh, 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 priority habitat protection is the Posidonia seagrass. And we have also in Spain, we have other, other legislation like the, um, the Royal Decree from the list of the uh, specials under protection. We say the Posidonia can't be damaged, something like that. But as you know, or maybe you, you have to know if you sail in the, in the Balearic government, in the Balearic Islands, is that we have our own decree, which is uh, from July 2018. And it's a degree which uh, takes the, uh, the, um, the Posidonia anchoring forbidden. I mean, any, any size, any, any, any boat in like, uh, in the old Balearic Island. So we have 60, 100, 60, 50 kilometers square prototypic, which is a huge thing. And I understand this uh, first years has been like huge thing for sailors and for other institutions on, or, or, or captains. But uh, we are not the on, only one that we have, in the, have this legislation. I mean, we are the most protected um, maybe sa uh, place in the Mediterranean, but also French has a new decree. It's called uh, 123 um, barra or slide uh, 20 2019. And they're also adapting the, um, the legislation to the different parts. Like I think in, in Bonifacio and um, in like South Cor Course, uh, they're having also new new plans to protect for this summer, for this 2022, 20, 21 summer. And they will also have different protection, no? especially for boats for more than 24 meters. You can check the, the legislations. And also, um, they are protecting. Also, the European com com um, community is also interested in having more protections in, in the Posidonia uh, damages. Okay, so what we what, what, what we do with this uh, challenge you know, to protect the Posidonia with this new 
uh, protections. So we have different ways to help uh, to, to enjoy the sea, and we hope uh, everybody can jo and enjoy the sea of the Balearic Island. We have plans for eco mornings. So the new, the new the, the, we'll have new bo boy camps like gradually every year. Um, in the decree, also I said like different um, different places where th they should be uh, boy camps. I think it's a, it's a it's a useful tool. So you go, you, are, you can uh, anchor uh, safely, and and you have to pay something, but it, it won't be like the price, like uh, like other sectors. No, it has to be like uh, a price for everybody. Uh, but it's hard to 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 anchor sometimes. Maybe the light. Maybe the sunset, maybe the, the sun, the sunset. Uh, maybe maybe it's not clear. Maybe the water is not easy. I, I remember me going to the Foradada. It's very hard to, to to anchor in some place. So we create this this um, project co called Aldas Posidonia. What is Aldas Posidonia? Is is like 90% is the cartography of the the Posidonia. And also giving tools to get uh, the captains to get the tool in 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 uh, in the, um, in the uh, uh, tablets or of iPhones or whatever. So how we do the the, the Posidonia the cartography? We do um, two kind of uh, areas. We do one that we, we check with sonar. Uh, we scan with sonar the sea from zero to thirty. Maybe the uh, the um, of the whole Mallorca, and we readapt the new cartography from Ibiza, Formentera, and Menorca. What we do in the other side, when it's near, the waters are clear. Uh, we use uh, orthophoto, which is uh, aerial photography, when we can add like the um, the, um, the po po polygons and, and to give the different uh, habitats, so it's Posidonia, um, Thymodocea, or, or sand, or whatever. So finally, we have a like, complete um, cartography of Posidonia of the Balearic Island. Now it's a, the project is about to finish. Maybe in one month it will be finished, and we will have like, uh, the Posidonia in, in different places. Which places can you ha have, the, um, or can you check the, the Posidonia? We have different tools. We give the cartography to different applications that in, it's in, they are on, on the market, like Posidonia Maps or Donia, which is a French one. We will also have our own app of the government. And um, you already can check the um, web app, which is um, it's a web called IDEIP. Well, if you go to posidonia.caip.es, you can go there to a cartography, and then you will see some links uh, to check. We have a, a website uh, to, where you can see the, la the latest uh, Posidona that we have. And you will check, you, you can see like, mm, where to anchor, and you can put um, uh, um, a point. And you can check the, the 50 kilo, uh, meters radio where you can anchor, and they, they will tell you if you are in or not. Also, we are in nautical charts. We are, with, we, we are in contact with the official charts. They can add the SG, only just these two, that, um, um, uh, just the S and G, because it's seagrass and it's in international um, code. So also, we are in, uh, in, in touch also with Navionics and all the different uh, digital uh, chart, nautical charts to get also this uh, information. So it has to be easy for the captains to check or, or to have the, this app or to check the nautical charts or, or check Navionics or, or the rest of, uh, of different uh, plotters and et cetera. So how, uh, hopefully uh, our app will be, will be, will be uh, um, uh, ready uh, before summer. Also, we have posters. We have uh, some camp campaigns of, of um, communications about about uh, the Posidonia and, and every, uh, all these tools. Other thing that we have in 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 Balearic Island, which is um, I think is is a great tool and and, and I'm, I think it helps a lot, is the surveillance of of of, um, of, of Posidonia. What it means is mean uh, that we have 15 boats to go. They go out every day in summer to help the captains and sailors and check if they are in Posidonia or not. 
we are not uh, the, um, the authority. We just try to help, uh, try to, um, we have a channel um, uh, 68, so you can, uh, big, big boats can contact with us in the areas where we are, and we can help them. And also we can give some tools or some maps or some, some help about the legislation. We have five boats in Mallorca. We have five boats in, in Formentera. We have three boats in Ibiza and two boats in South Menorca. Uh, we also are also in contact with different MPAs and different um, um, marine protected areas and, and different um, boats that do surveillance for other things like mar marine reserves or things like that. So we are all together, so maybe we are 30 boats around the Balearic Island that they check and they try to help. Uh, what do we do? We just go with a uh, uh, batiscafo, I don't know how, Mirafondo, which is this uh, orange tube, something like that, where you can see the, the, the meadow. We check if the anchor is okay or not. Sometimes we can see because, I mean, it's very clear. And then we help to the captain to, 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 to if, is, if he's in Posidonia, we ask him to move to, to Seagrass. We explain the, the, um, the, the legal protections. And uh, if, he's, if he's not in Posidonia, we thank you and, 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 and we hope uh, we continue to, to anchor in, 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 in Seagrass, in, in, in sand, sorry. We also help with the turtles and we, with different plastics. We, we keep plastics. We are in touch with different uh, environmental aspects in, in that way. So it's not only, only this. We, have, we do other things as part of that. But uh, I think it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good tool to, that you can count on, on us. What, which is the authority that go there and put the fine or, 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 or um, open a, an, an expediente or? or so it's, a, it's the uh, um, em environmental agents. Uh, this is a different department of the environment uh, minister in the government, uh, in the government, uh, Balearic government. So they can't uh, come into our boats, they're normally two, uh, or they have their own boats in different places and they, they can check and they, uh, they, they are the authority and they check and they uh, can open a fine or uh, they check uh, about which is the damage of the Posidonia, etc. The amount of the of the, the fines has been like um, uh, 67. I mean, like last year. As you will see, we check a lot of boats. You will see the numbers later. So uh, this year, which is a, was a very strange year, about the beginning was we have like um, very few boats, but then July it com it comes up. But well, the final numbers that in the surveillance that that we we of these 15 boats, uh, we informed to 7,700 boats. We assist, so we, we help to boats directly with with um, the anchoring to 6,400 boats. Uh, we have checked 73,000 boats. And from the 73,000 boats that we checked, only 5,600 uh, were in bad uh, damaging or near damaging. Maybe it's not only damaging, maybe it's near, and we say, okay, take care because the wind is gonna change. Uh, so of these 5,000 of people that we have to move or ask to move to sand, uh, they are not all, they, are, they, they were damaging. But uh, if you see the statistics there, it's about uh, when we started the, 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 the surveillance in 2018 with the 15 boats, it was the 17 uh, of the boats um, anchoring bad. Uh, last year it was 10% in the Balearic Island, 1% only in Formentera. So 1% of the boats that anchor in Formentera were damaging the, or in, like near damaging the, the, the Posidonia. And this year was like less, so it's going to it's going down the the impact in, in Posidonia, and um, we have like this year six, six, seven uh, dot eight percent of the uh, of the boats. So last year was ten percent. This year ten seven uh, percent, seven dot eight percent of the boats that anchor bad in Posidonia, and only zero comma seven percent in Formentera. 
So the numbers are going down. I think we are so grateful about the captains. They are, we really have, a, I think we, we have a good contact with them. Um, they have a good attitude and they change their habits. And I think this is the main goal. I mean, the sand only just check the position, yeah. Um, we will help, uh, we'll try to have the best cartography, the best tools to, to help, because we all want to enjoy the, the Balearic Island Seas. And I think it's a win-win for the, the, for the nautic, nautic sector, sector to have a clean, nice waters. And also for us, we need to, to protect the, um, the Posidonia. So thank you very much. For sure, you will have some questions, and I will be delighted to, to answer. I don't know if um, we have some time to, to, to answer some questions, but thank you. My name is Marcial Bardet. I will send you my address so if you want or need something, some information, I'm here to, to help you. Thank you very much.